everybody, Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics, and this is just the most unusual, cool, patinaed 1949 GMC pickup truck with a boatload of mechanical receipts, over ten or twelve thousand dollars worth or something. But it's kept its patina, and that's what we love about it. And it kind of feels like we just drive this, this thing anywhere. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm going to walk you around the car or the truck. I'm going to take you under the truck. I'm going to show you the truck running, and I'm, I'm even going to take you for a ride in the truck right now. So buckle up. drives great it's you know it's rattly it's got luggage on the back horns mounted to the front a visor so you got some rattles going on but it runs really strong gotta love those bias fly tires I mean, for what it is, it's got plenty of power. It's just a pretty stock setup. I get so many thumbs up with this thing when I'm driving it. There's our downshift into second. Just overall, a really fun truck to drive. The shifting all feels good, though. It's, it likes to go into third a little slowly. Might have a little synchro where it had a used transmission put in. It does shift fine. It stays in all the gears. It just wants you to kind of gently kind of pop it down to third, and it's fine. Nothing needed there. All right, so there it is. Possibly the most unique 49 out there for sure. It's it's just beautiful. I love it. We got our Hula girl here. Our cool sun visor. I don't know if you see it, but it says uh, Wallace, stand up for America. It's got like an old, I guess, 60s picture of George Wallace. And uh, anyway, uh, fuel gauge bounces around, but we can see it, it's fairly accurate. 
Temperature gauge is working. Oil pressure's good, sits and idles at 30, goes up when you drive it north of 30, 35. Uh, it's charging. And uh, just overall, just a cool, fun, old truck. So anyway, be sure to check it out on my website at leftcoastclassics.com where all my current inventory is. And uh, check us out on all the social media sites as, all, as well. And our YouTube channel is somewhere hovering around 8 million views, so I'd really love it if you could like and subscribe and, and maybe even hit the noti notification uh, bell. We've never really pushed for that, but we've really picked up a lot of subscribers the last few months. Um, what else? Three episodes of Wheeler Dealers. I'm a super lucky guy. I get to be on Wheeler Dealers some, I guess, kind of regularly. It's turning into that. Uh, 1957 Ford Thunderbird back in the Ed China days right here. Uh, and then we did a 2018 episode with a 1972 Launch Sia Fulvia. That was a cool car. And the brand new episode that came out December, I think 26th or 29th of 2020 is a 19... I think it was a 64 or 65, I think it's a 64, Triumph TR4. This is like a one-owner car. It's a really special car, and Mark, Mike had to uh, pry it out of my, my dead hands because I really wanted to keep it. Anyway, that's it. Check out the description. Read all the notes. I have a great, big, fat couple of pages of repair orders of this thing being gone through mechanically really extensively, really recently. So I'm happy to shoot that off to you. It might actually be downloadable on my website at leftcoastclassics.com. All right, thanks for checking it out, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, so let's head under the GMC and just kind of show you the undercarriage. It's, you know, obviously totally original. The floors underneath the uh, cab area are really good. Inner rockers are okay. You know, I got rust at the corner of the bed or of the uh, cab, which is typical. I don't think the guy buying this car is probably going to be too concerned with that. Kind of going for the rusty look. There you go.